today we're gonna talk about motion design. Yeah. Um, motion design is short for motion graphic design. For example, you can see logo animation, video effects, 3D elements in videos, etc. So to be a motion designer, you need to first be a good graphic designer. You need to master color theory, photography, illustration, and typography, and know to achieve the harmony of all of these fields to communicate messages. Motion designer can work in areas like branding, advertising, art, and architecture. However, motion designer is more than motion and graphic. It works with time, cinematography, and animation, but has to work along with music, film editing as well. They have to transfer complex concepts into digestible diagrams, so they are widely used by marketers and advertisers. The explainer videos are in trend since 2008. First, working with the voiceover script, the motion graphic designer helps people to deepen their emotional and intellectual levels of understanding on the theme. It serves either information or entertainment purposes, or somewhere in between. Imagine this way. If we only use voiceover to explain something, it's a lot of narration work and also boring to listen for three minutes. On the other hand, if we only use still visual, there will be more than 10 pages slices and lots of illustration and diagrams. Combining these two does not only symbolize the less tangible concepts, but also tackle some part of the narration to make it shorter and easier to access. Secondly, the style of these explainer videos are kept simple. This is aimed to reduce viewers' cognitive load to avoid being overwhelmed with too much information at a time. If in animation, characters are the king, then in an explainer video, the focal point is leaning on the relationship between characters and concepts. Third, explainer videos are also used for companies to raise funds for launching their non-existent products. It's fast, cheap, and test a product's viability as well as pitch. For example, Ideal is an award-winning global design firm that takes human-centered, design-based approach to help organizations innovate and grow. The team created a motion video entitled Future of the Book in 2010. In this video, it explores the possibilities of digital reading. Let's take a closer look at the video. In the beginning, they give out a topic by mimicking the motion of flipping a real book. Notice the pure white background here. It strongly contrasts with the colorful stages that's used for the three concepts of future books. Then in the, each section, the content is shown on a tablet and the hand triggers the screen to function as a real product. An interesting thing is that although the first iPad was announced in 2010, Steve Jobs said in 1983, we want to put an incredibly great computer in a book that we can carry around with you. Considering the ideal video created in 2010, we realize a lot of its function is realized in 10 years. Okay, I hope you really enjoy today's topic. Please give me a thumb up, subscribe, or leave some comments. Bye!